Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to design a fancy carousal. Yes, we are back at it and we are going to design a fancy carousal again. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are in Figma right now and we are going to build, as you can see, we are going to build a fancy sneaker app. Now go to Nike's website and pull up the images of sneakers you like. I've pulled up four images for now. You can pull as many as you want. And the next thing that you need after this is a plugin, a very specific plugin known as Remove BG. Now that plugin is used to remove the backgrounds from these images. It works on any sort of background. If you see here, we have a white background behind the product image. So we want to remove this background and Remove BG helps us in removing that background seamlessly inside of Figma. So uh, I'll show you. It's the plugin known as Remove BG. As soon as you install this plugin, it'll ask you to register and ask you for an API key. Don't worry, just go to their website and they will provide you the API key. As soon as you enter the API key, you'll be able to run this plugin inside of Figma. So not, nothing complicated, just log into their website, get this key, add it here and done. Once you have installed this plugin, set the API key. Now what you have to do is select the first image, right click, go to your plugins, remove BG and run it and let it do its magic. Now, if you see, as soon as I clicked on the plugin, it has removed the background and now it's like a completely seamless um, background, right? So we have no background here. Now let's do the same procedure for all of the other images. So as you can see, we have removed the background from all the products. Now, what we need to do is we need to create an artboard. So I'm going to hit A on my keyboard. And on the right, I'm going to select iPhone 14 Pro as a preset, but you can pick any artboard you like. So we're going to go with iPhone 14 Pro for now. Let's do that. Okay. So now the next thing we have to do is you have to make sure that uh, nothing goes beyond the width of this artboard. So the width of this artboard as of now is 393. So we have to make sure nothing goes beyond it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this first image here just to make sure nothing is bigger than uh, the artboard width. And if you see the size is not bigger than the artboard width. Okay. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to place a uh, dummy text here, which is the name of the sneaker and the price. And so we're done with our text and the prices. So we have added the image, we have the text and we have the pricing here as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this together and convert everything into a frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of this text as well as the image and I'm going to hit option command G on my keyboard to club everything into a frame. What you can also do is you can click right click on it and you can do frame selection here. It does the, I mean, it'll do the same thing. So let's quickly do option command G and as soon as I do option command G, everything has been added into one single frame. Now uh, we like this proportion, we'll add the dummy UI later, but for now this is what we're going to work with and I think this looks fine. Uh, just one thing that we need to do a little bit tweaking is that once you create this frame, just make sure the bounds are as same as the artboard size so that placing it will be an easy task later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire frame. Don't select the inside element, select the entire frame, hit command on your keyboard and resize this. Okay. And resize the bounds of this frame without resizing the elements. So now, uh, the bounds, the width of this frame is equal to the width of this artboard. So that's the only thing that you have to worry about. That's it. Now take it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a fill to this frame as well. And we'll be working outside of the frame. So I'm just going to move this down for a bit. Okay. So this is the frame that you're going to work with. Now it contains the image, you have the text, you have the price. And we have to do the same treatment for the rest of the three images. So let's quickly do that. So we're done with our images. Now what we have to do is we have to create four carousels, right? Out of these images. And the first thing I need to do is I need to rotate this. We need to add a little bit of funkiness to this carousel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move it up like this probably. Yeah, I think this will look better. So we'll add a 50 degree angle to the entire thing, to the image itself. And we are not disturbing anything else. We are not disturbing the um, frame and anything. Okay. So we've added this. Uh, so that just looks a little bit funky when you just scroll the first element. And what you need to do is select the rest of the elements. Okay. And make it smaller. So I'll hit 
K on my keyboard, okay, and make it a little smaller, and just monitor everything on the right, the size that you're seeing here. Just make sure that you don't end up in decimal numbers like I did. So just tweak it a little bit. So I think this looks perfectly fine. And again, I'm just gonna place everything in the center. Okay. So the first element uh, will be rotated, and the rest elements will be uh, in the same zero degree angle. And once you move them into the frame, they will just rotate. Okay. So that's what the animation would be. So you did the first thing. Now what you need to do is select the first frame. Okay. So select the frame one that you have done. Select the frame two frame 3, frame 4 and first make sure that they have equal spacing so distribute horizontal spacing and reduce the spacing to a little bit less something like 24 should work okay yeah so this is the spacing now what you need to do is select all of these frames frame 1, frame 2, frame 3 okay just select all of them together cool now what you need to do is, again you have to club all of them in one single big frame. So I'll hit Option Command G on my keyboard and club them into a big frame. So I'm gonna call it Big Frame 1, okay? So I'm gonna call it Big Frame 1. Now the next thing you have to do is you have to click Clip Content, okay? And you have to resize this bounds of this frame by hitting Command on your keyboard to the size of this first um, element because as you remember the first element has exactly the width of our artboard okay so what do you have to do the same thing here so hit the command on your keyboard and resize the bounds it will not resize the elements it will just resize the bounds and since you have hit the clip content option you will not be able to see anything beyond this so those elements are there if you see those elements are there but now the bounds of this frame the big frame is this first one so we need to do this because we have to create a uh, scroll we have to create a, a carousal so we need to do this step so add all the elements in one and just rotate this bit okay so your big frame one is ready and i'm just gonna unclip it for now so that you can just see okay now what you have to do is you just have to duplicate the big frame into a second element so this will be your second uh, state when you scroll between them so i'll do this two and you have to do the same treatment again what you have to do is first you just have to go to the frame one okay and say see this image right you are given 50 degree just make it zero first align it right it was like this and what you have to do is you have to select this frame one and all of these frames and just move it out And just so that we can see where the frame 2 starts, we'll just add a little bit of a fill here. And we'll remove this fill later. Okay. So that we can see where the big frame starts. Just like that. Okay. Now, uh, since you have moved past the first element, the first element comes back to original angle. And it also reduces in shape. Like this. So if the shape here is 310 and 366. So I'm going to do the same here and just come here hit key on my keyboard and we're just gonna hit make it 310 to resize everything and this looks great what I'll do is I'll just move it down and the spacing between them if you remember was 24 so I'll do that as well center image these two needs to be a little out because you have not scrolled till there just make sure that 24 distance maintained and the second one is now has to be bigger so it, it should acquire the size of the entire big frame so what you have to do is very carefully just hit K on the keyboard and scale it up okay to the exact size of this frame okay awesome so now if you see in the first one the first one was bigger now when you scroll past that the second one is now bigger okay and what you have to do is again the same thing that we did there give it an angle of 50 degrees um, now align it in the center wherever you feel like it's good okay and that's it now when you scroll past this you will reach here and one more thing that you have to remember is that if you select this big frame 2 and you hit clip content you won't be able to see the rest of the things similar thing we here as well okay but now the effect that you see what will happen is when you scroll between this and this 
it'll change to an angle and when you go back to the next element it'll go back here again okay so let's do this same trick i hope you understood this let's do the same trick for all the elements placing all the elements in the center and rotating them and unrotating them and let's create two more variations so we have created all the four variations of the different scroll carousals so in the first one the first one in the center with the rotated image in the second one second one in the center with the rotated image and the first one out of the side third one third is the rotated image and bigger in size and the fourth one is in fourth image is bigger in size and rotated as well so i hope you understood the entire thing uh, just add all of these variations the bigger image should be always in the center is the one that you scrolled and uh, it also has a rotation to it the image has a rotation to it and the rest of the images are smaller and they don't have any rotation to them okay so now we have created all four of these let me just quickly select all of these big frames that contain all of these other images okay so big frame one two three and four and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit clip content so that you won't be able to see the things that are out of this frame okay so now that's there and we added a background just for like checking purposes so we'll just remove that as well we don't need a green background and yeah we have these four um carousel images ready okay so what uh, next we have to do is we have to select all four of these okay big frame one two three four and what we have to do is we have to go to our component area on the top this four diamonds hit the down arrow and click on create component set and now with component set enabled all of these becomes a variant and we can do interactive variants here where we can prototype them in between okay so what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to select the first i think most majority of our work is now done so what you have to do is just select the first one and let's wire this up go in the prototyping mode and select the big frame one and connect it to big frame two okay and once you do that you don't want on tap you want on drag so you want to drag this image right because you it's a scroll and it will change from one to this one okay and what you have to do is instead of move in you have to do smart animate because we want this to animate and here you have interesting options available now so you don't have to do easy knees out you also have this quick option you can just play with them and i'm going to do bouncy actually this time let's see how bouncy looks like and we'll first quickly uh, do all of this together it's around 800 milliseconds just leave it like that let's quickly do the second one second when you scroll you'll get to the third one okay and again on tap you want on drag because you want to scroll it and you have smart animate bouncy 800 milliseconds perfect let's do that here we'll fine tune it a little bit later similarly instead of on tap on drag and smart animate bouncy 800 milliseconds perfect now what happens is when you scroll back you should also able to go back to the images so what i'll do is i'll just select the last one and again link it back to the previous one same exactly same interaction link back this one to the previous ones and don't worry figma will automatically know when you're moving uh, forward and backwards okay so again on drag same property we are not going to change anything and here okay so on tap uh, we should change to on drag and same property so our component is now ready this is how it looks like okay if i just unclip everything you'll be able to see what is happening we have just wired everything up if you scroll left to right uh, you are going into different modes so this is what is exactly happening okay i'll just hide everything for a bit now cool so everything is now ready and as usual you know that when everything uh, when you create a component set it's available in your assets panel so if you see component one is now available i'll just quickly drag it here right see how clean it looks like otherwise you would have like a mess of things here on this frame so that's why we are using this uh interactive variant component route now let's quickly see how this looks like and how the interaction works so it's working but uh, it's too bouncy for my taste so what we are going to do is we're going to change that bouncy effect to something more gentle so I'm going to come back here and if I select this one, you see we have added bouncy here, right? Which is very bouncy in our nature I and mean, it's working perfectly fine, but let's change it to gentle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change each and every interaction to gentle. Everything was set to bouncy. 
let's change everything to gentle and then again come back okay so let me quickly do this change so okay we have changed everything to gentle now let's see how this prototype looks like so i'm gonna reload it Woohoo! if you see now this is very smooth and gentle right if you see everything is coming in very smoothly very gently and this is what the effect uh, we were looking for so yeah so this setting works uh, everything looks great now so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna throw a dummy ui on top of it and then see the final thing so we have added a simple nike logo as well as two buttons so that just looks like more like an app ui and now let's see how this looks like i'll just refresh this page and it already looks so good and we know our interaction is here so let's see and you see that animation is so gentle and so nice and the entire thing looks so good so yeah this is it this is it for today's video this is your fancy carousal go try it out and let me know in the comments uh, the source files of this i'm planning to create a membership where all the source file for all of my videos will be available to the members uh, whatever happens i'll link that in the description below uh, then you might check it out but for now this is it uh, i hope you learned something and i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye Thank you.